Hi guys, my name is Chitizu and I'm going to be making a presentation on how we can use the KNN module for underwriting in insurance. We are going to be using the KNN REST neighbor, which is a machine learning module to predict where the future potential customers for a life insurance company should be offered policy cover or not. So what is the KNN module? The KNN algorithm is a supervised machine learning model. That means it predicts a target variable using one or more multiple independent variables. The KNN model is non-parametric in nature and it does not make any assumptions on the underlying data distribution. Why is this important? This is important because in insurance, it is usually difficult to determine the best distribution that fits a particular data set. So the KNN model stores all the data and classifies a new data point based on similarity. This is a rather unorthodox example I used. Assume I train the following data on my model. We can be able to predict future input values using the already stored data. On the left hand side is my input and it is the shadow of a footballer. If I input it into the model, I get the output on the right. This is because the input has got a lot of similarities to the image on the right. This is a classic example for k equals to five, where k is the number of neighbors. Suppose we have got a new data point and it either belongs to category A or category B. After applying the KNN model, we find that the new data point is assigned to category one. Why is that? This is because the new data point has got a lot of similarities to its closest neighbors, which are in category one. Life insurance firms and other insurance firms are careful in deciding whom to offer their insurance products to. Hence, there is need for underwriting to determine whether a potential policy order can be given a policy or not. There are substandard lives with higher than normal mortality rates, and this is because they are involved in risky activities such as skydiving, or they tend to consume a lot of unhealthy food. Life insurance firms are likely not to dish out insurance policies to such lives as they carry a huge risk. So what next for us? Given the life insurance firms past data on individuals who have been given insurance policies and those who have been denied, can we be able to predict if someone is going to be offered an insurance policy or not? So we are going to be uh, predicting whether the potential customer is given police cover or not using the KNN module trained on a health insurance firm's data set. For this presentation, I used Python programming language and Jupyter Notebook, which is a web-based interactive coding platform. So this is a quick snippet of our data set, and we have got eight columns, age, sex, body mass index, children, smoker, region, salary, and whether a person is insured or not. I split my data into the training data and testing data. And I use the train test split function in Python. As we can see, the training data has got seven features. After running the following lines of code and fitting my model on the training data, I can see that the testing accuracy is 80%, and this is quite good although we would prefer if our model had an accuracy of 90% and above. We can find the best K value by looping over 20 values. And as we can see from the graph, the highest accuracy is achieved when K equals to nine. So here is the interesting part. Suppose, I'm given the following data and we want to know if this person should be offered insurance cover or not. We can predict the new input data by inputting it into our model. 
Therefore, we run the following line of code, KNN dot predict, and we input the values. We can see that the output is one. What does it mean? It means that this person should be given an insurance health policy. This is because one stands for a person is given insurance cover, while list zero stands for a person is denied insurance cover. Thank you all for listening to my presentation. As you can see, the KNN model is a good classification model for classifying new input data using past known data. And also it is important to note that it takes on discrete values is its dependent variable. Hence, in this example, our output variable or dependent variable was the insured column and it took values of one or zero. However, the independent variables, which are the input features into our model, they can be either categorical or continuous, but our output variable is supposed to be discrete. It can be binary assuming two values or it can be multi. Thank you so much for listening.